So it's more than I'm taking Carla to Balaskelia. But first of all, I'm going to explore the Balaskelia Bridge. Well, I would imagine it must be about the age of the farm because they probably would have built the bridge before the farm to get up to the farm. Well, there's a question. So when they did shipwreck and come here yeah. in 1600, did they build the bridge before getting up to the top of the hill? Probably would do, wouldn't they? So where'd they sleep? Hmm? Where'd they sleep? Well... Imagine that, shipping all them bricks all the way up to the top of this hill. They wouldn't have any bricks up there, they'd have just dug it up there, wouldn't they? Would they? Yeah. Ask a question? Yeah. Go on. So what about that story behind this farm? When they shipwrecked, but they were quails, weren't they? Yeah, according to the museum. Right. Three brothers got shipwrecked off the Jerby Head or Jerby Coast. And they swore if they survived that they'd go as far away from the sea as they could. Right. Which is why they end up in the middle of Salty Will. Well, they couldn't even see the sea. Pardon? And they couldn't even see the sea. No. Oh, I like that. You know what? That reminds me of that one in, uh, is it Indrebeck? Yeah. The, the, it's always going under the water. Yeah. You rarely ever see that. Balaskella me. Well, I think it means something wood from yeah. memory. But it would mean also home of Skelly's farm. That's interesting. Is that a little hut? I've never seen that before. Last times I've been here, I never actually noticed that. Hey, so when they built the bridge, there's where they slept. <laughs> <laughs> you did ask the question, didn't you? I did, and look at that, I've got my answer. You're probably more than right, too. More dead sheep. More dead sheep. I originally thought this was a pack horse bridge, but it's too wide apparently, called the experts. Yes, I can feel that. It's definitely coming. Even though you said you was right. What's that? With, with getting walking boots. If I, if I fall today, you was wrong. <laughs> but you never fell the other ones, did you? No, I just got blisters on my feet. I'm trying to get... I can use again. Give us your hand. All right. It's always worth doing right. Ah, <laughs> uh, you could do. We go to the other side.
There's that fern stuff again, Carla. Oh. oh, the green stuff. <laughs> the yellow stuff. Of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you confused me then. <laughs> oh, what did I call it? Bracken. Bracken. There's that bracken yeah. stuff that you face plant. And you've got For the album, Carla. Yep. Thought I'd go further up to get a more decent picture, and then the, the tree was in the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is one hell of a hike. <laughs> Imagine how I feel with this pack horse on me. Well, yeah, I was just thinking that. This has been one bad shipwreck that they had. <laughs> Let's go all the way up there. Well, they inhabit all of these farms in the side of the valley. Buggy Rennie. Right, okay. Um, what's the other one's called? Craig Moore. Sherrick Vane. Yeah. Cramag? Hmm? Cramag? Mm, I think they did, but probably not initially. Craggins. Like yeah. That one as well, yeah. <laughs> One called over that side of the valley. Just on this side, it's called Balamish. That's it, Balamish. Or oh, Krankaru. Mm. And the opposite side of it is Kilbrega. You get to see all these then. Oh, there it is. Yep. That's Kilbrega, yeah? Yeah. Oh, there's that eye spotting bricks again. <laughs> what? That eye of mine spotting bricks again. <laughs> Miles away. We must walk over and see that, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Balamish up there, yeah? No, Balamish is around that. Oh, around can't, that way? Can't see it. Oh, so what's that one? This one is Block Erie. Oh. On the top of this hill there, those ones up there, called Slew Mac. Right. When we got near the farm, We'll see all of these things, if I haven't died. Look at that, I've got no energy to carry a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't carry a corpse, you'll leave that there. Oh, right, okay. I'm happy up here. Before I eat your butties, I'll take out the frog form. <laughs> <laughs> yes. just to be out, isn't it? Great. Right. I've been looking forward to it. <coughs> A lot of people be sitting in watching the uh, Liverpool. Are they playing today? Manchester City match. Not my cup tea. No one into football. Mm, never understood it. Or any, any sports, really. I wouldn't class walking as a sport, but I bet people would say it is. 
Coach coming up in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm roasting. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that we can see Grave Moor from when we get to the top, definitely. Just in the trees though. Can you see it? Yeah, it's with that brick eye of mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's, it's off then, is it? I'm doomed if I get hot, the, there's nothing else. Well, I've seen you in the car. One minute we're roasting. I don't think so. Just think of the putties, Carla. Hey? Just think of the putties when we get there. Oh, celebratory putties. Yes. I have decided I can't have mine until I find the well. Oh, you could be hungry then, girl. Oh, really? Have we gone past it? No, no, no. Right. <laughs> Wouldn't be that mean to you. Like a, uh, a flowing natural stream that's gathered at the bottom. It's not a, a man-made well. Oh, definitely not man-made. Oh, right. We're there yet? <laughs> it does sound like my kids. Part of the uh, um, quarrying when they were doing whatever they were doing. <laughs> I bloody hope so. I hope so. So what's the story then? The story is... I don't know really. Go on, save yourself. Leave me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it. <laughs> I think next time we'll pack some oxygen. Yeah. Not the sandwiches. And a flying kite thing down. Yes. They call those things where you strap yourself to a tent. But you know, we come up here once now and again. We I mean, lived up here. They did this four times, five times a day. Every day. Just imagine going somewhere and think, oh, I forgot the other spuds. Now. I was just thinking that as I was walking up. Oh, <laughs> I forgot the milk. I'm not going back down. <laughs> Don't have to do till tomorrow. I'm not going back. Mm. I wonder who had, like, the have, milk farms and stuff, because they were all the off each other, no? They'd have cows. They would have their own, yeah? Yeah, they wouldn't go anywhere. No, and right they'd have no. geese. 
4 m meat. Right. Because they didn't have anywhere to keep anything frozen. No. So they kill a goose a week. Uh, the right. goose would feed the family and the fat would be something and the feathers would do something and the sinews would do something. Very resourceful in them days, aren't they? Oh yeah. Do you ever hear about why people don't fetch daffodils in the house, why it's, a, why it's unlucky? No. Ever heard that story? No. What's that then? Well, the old days, because geese were so valuable, when the geese were um, hatching or the eggs laid, mm. when they got near hatching, they'd go and get the eggs out of the nest and fetch them in the house with the goose. And uh, just to protect them, really. But when the daffodils came in the house and the goose saw the daffodils, they thought, oh, the goslings are out, and would bugger off and leave the nest. Uh. So that's why people are so lucky to have <laughs> um, <laughs> daffodils in the house. Really? I thought that was a bit of a con, but somebody told me, yeah, that's exactly how it was. Wow. Really? No, I don't think so. It's got a big oh. thing in it. No, you're not having that one. Should we head up, hey? Where's the house? Go find the house. <laughs> Peaceful. Even today, where there's a bit of wind, it's not really noisy, is it? Yeah. I'm that excited, my heart's racing. <laughs> What does it say? Caller. C A L E R. Caller. You'll find people put that in a few places. It's funny, isn't it? it means something to somebody. It's relatively modern. Oh, look. There's that tree. Reminds me of me. Why? Been blown over, but it's still trying to grow. It's not given up yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Look, it's growing all over the place. It's just astonishing, isn't it? It's nice, that. I always think the world's okay as long as it's growing. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's something I want to look for up here. I don't think we is the right word. I think. Um, it's got cold. It's got cold. It's cold. Mm. Look like that, but I just think you know it's like the ones in Craig Moore, isn't it? Yeah, they're stacked up. I see silence. There's nothing written on them, though, is there? <coughs> no, I was wondering, I wasn't going to disagree with you because I've never been able to see it. I have spotted it from this side though before. I suppose it depends on the greenery, don't it? Yeah, maybe it was from the Craggans. Ah, oh, it could have been. I know it's right there. I'll have a look at a different angle. I don't know what it's for, but it's definitely a bag of some sort. Oh, yeah, it's uh, maybe an animal of some sort. Yeah. I don't know if they had a stillbirth, they probably wouldn't take it somewhere else. What? The, the stained circle 
though. Really? I've never seen that. Pretty good, that, isn't it? Where are you? Where are you looking? Here. I got a picture of this place in 1923 when there was a big house and complete with the roof on it and uh, all the bits and put outside. So I'll stick it on with the video, I think. Yeah. The other thing about this, if you come down here, I'll show you something else. It's maybe something to do with the house. <laughs> Most people probably isn't very interested, but that I think is a culvert. All right. And I reckon they would have water running under the house. And I reckon they had that to keep the food cool. Possibly. Because mm. they wouldn't have fridges, would they? No. There is a cool, um, a cooling system, you know, for the Kentrow estate. Yeah. Across the road, so it's out of the estate, but it's like a, a hill. Yeah. And it, it was, it was called the ice, ice hill or something. Yeah. 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 So yeah, there's your old. Refrigerating system. Absolutely. <laughs> Put the buddies in there, we'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> we could do. I know. A little stream there. So it's do you there. think that's something to do with it, Carla? Well, if the water's wet. <laughs> See that little, see there, that little opening? Yeah. What do you think that would be for? Why would it build like that? Midgets. Well, <laughs> not stupid. <laughs> I'm for think, the sheep, no? Well, sheep or maybe, you know, you have your cows one side and the calves are drifting to the other shed. Would I be an idiot to go under it? No. That's if quite... it falls on me, you can have my butties. Well, I was thinking about your boots, actually. It is for midgets. <laughs> I should be able to walk straight under there then, shouldn't I? I know, yeah. <laughs> Woo I can't place, whoa, I can't place the uh, kitchen. I always like to find the... The centre of the house. It's a chillig, isn't it? Chollig. Chollig? Yeah. Chollig. Well, it'll be one of the ends. Oh, this end or that end. I think your kitchen would be one of those rooms there, Carla, behind you. Well, there's something here. There's a big, um... I, that's what I think. What's that there? That, that's something, isn't it? Yeah, that would be, I would guess, probably something to do with the oven, wouldn't it? This here would have been their stackyard and in um, I'm not sure what date early 1900s they had a stack fire all their winter food got burned and 60 Welsh quarrymen helped to put the fire out but they didn't save it and uh, because it is a community up here every farm around here got together and gave them some feed for their winter, for their stock. Wow. Because they could. Yeah. That's nice. I thought so. Weren't all these farms quails? Most of them were, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> quite interesting when you look around here. How many years they would have been up here? 400 years probably. Yeah. And then, um, did they marry into the, the Cowleys? Yeah, the Cowleys came from it's a Cramig. Yeah, yeah at so. the end of the Reservoir Valley. Uh, they married into that particular family. I had quite a lot of kids. A lot of them left, emigrated. No TV, you see. No, no TV. And family planning was... Not the windy. Not the windy. <laughs> 
Bill's here is going to say about this place, which people don't know, they used to meet up here, the Methodists, on a Sunday, in this house, for like church meetings. Yeah. And um, they'd meet in, I think it was the Craig Moore, the other Sundays. So they come up here for one Sunday and then yeah. they go to the other place. Imagine that trek up there. Do you know what? Great minds think I like. I was just thinking that, like, oh, everyone would be like, oh, it's Sunday. Yeah, I've got to go up there again. <laughs> got to go up there. You've got to go up there. We need to get some sort of system to shout across the valley instead. That reminds me about the valley. Good, good point, Carla. I'm not sure what time it was, but. In the 1800s anyway, the snow was so steep in this valley, I could have walked from this farm to the Craig Moore farm across the valley without touching the ground. Wow. That's some depth of snow, isn't it? Yeah. When was that? Mm, late 1700s, early 1800s, I think. <laughs> when you were a lad. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> I'll be getting to realise that you have a sense of humour which probably matches my own, Carla. You have to get used to it. I like it. Don't go crying on the way down. No, I'm not going to do that. So what's this, Ray? <laughs> this is old horse milk, Carla. And um, you find so many of these places where you've got them. Where it is, is where you're standing would have been a walk. The horse walked around in a circle, maybe two of them. There he is. They powered this machine. And uh, it drove uh, like a fashion machine, which is in that barn, which is where all the cogs were. And um, what happened when you actually sold your farm and moved your farm, you took your pole to the next farm. And that there was your right to have the mill, was the horse pole. <laughs> wow. And a lot of that came from Scotland, air in Scotland. And they were 120 quid in 1860, 1870. Really? Today that's 60, 70 grand. And they just leave it? Yeah, it's no use, you couldn't take it. But the yeah. thing about it was, these places were abandoned. So where did they get the money from to buy them? In the first place. I had to get it up here as well. Yeah, I know. How are we going to get it down? Sell it. <laughs> That's a John Castain special, that. Yeah. <laughs> this is quite unique because it's got to come a bit closer. If you go up around there, I'll show you what I mean. See the, uh, see these teeth here? Oh, yeah. See it? Hang it's on. like a ratchet. Yeah. And the very early ones of these, they had, didn't have a ratchet, so if the mill jammed, the thing stopped straight away, and the horse's neck would be yanked backwards. Right. Okay. Right. I can see. So you can see the uh, where it came out of the wall, and that would have oh, another yeah, yeah. little cog to speed it up. And this here would be part of the. Um, shaking system to get the grain separated from the oats. Right. So this would be classed as the fashion barn basically. And this would be another part of it. That there would be attached to that. So this little wheel, this little <coughs> cog here, would sit on top of that somewhere. Oh right, I see. There's a a one that's more together up at Killerbreaker, isn't it? Killerbreaker is a lovely one yeah. because it's still in, seen in the shed. And a lot of the bits, the workings are still there as well. Yeah. There's normally a window that the guy would be looking at the horse. Yeah, that's right. Is that that there? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just been filled in there. Yeah. Have you um, ever seen orbs? Orbs? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, Roxy. Yeah. Orbs in the sky, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it made by water and light? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you quite often find when you do these things, some of my photographs have got orbs on them. Right. In the photographs. Oh. I don't know why. Cool. Yeah, this to never accept to anybody because it just doesn't sound. Sounds like it lost a bloody plot, doesn't it? Yeah. Keep you busy. Oh, keep me busy. 
I love doing the video, I love this sort of mose in the back, but the head in the garden. Mm. So this is the garden, I reckon. <laughs> and if you walk over those humps, we'll probably get an idea that they were uh, raised beds, I think. This way, yeah? Yeah. Alright, one, two. Three of them. Bad, but I think they were. I thought they would have been useful. Yeah. Glad I don't have to walk uphill anymore. I bet you are. Yeah. What a day. Well, at least you didn't sit down and cry, though, girl. Yeah, I've never done that. I did do that when I fell off my bike. I'm just yeah. glad I didn't whack my bloody face. You know? <laughs> You know when you can feel yourself going? You won't. And I was like the slow motion, I'm thinking... What the hell's going to no! happen now? Ray, catch! <laughs> I mean, what on earth were you thinking? You're like, uh-oh, where's she going? <laughs> well, it happened like in a second though, didn't it? Yeah. What was I going to show you? Something here I thought was quite <laughs> interesting. <coughs> Tell us about that little tree there then, Carla. Oh, the hawthorn tree. Aye. They do their washing and they bring the sheets out, not just sheets like, and hang it on the hawthorn tree. Do you know why? So the hawthorns would thorn it and it wouldn't blow away. All right. It's like, it's like a it tree. Peg it tree. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh. That might be funny, isn't it? No. <laughs> we'll have a look at the, I'll show you the, uh, where they used to keep their cows for the whole of the winter. See the little stall there? See here? Oh, right. It's a little uh, slate. they got three or four calves stuck in here. Oh, right. Something else next door. Oops! Don't you bleed your fold. That's my job, apparently. We didn't think it was your job. I know, yeah. See that little thing there? What? Uh, that with the handle? Yeah. Is it a handle? Yeah, what they did is they tied the cows in here oh. to the, by their neck with a chain. Yeah. And uh, that would allow them to stand up and lie down. Oh, right. So all winter they'd be shut in here yeah. to be fed. And uh, they'd be sort of tied up by neck from November till April, really. No way. Yeah. That's a bit crap, isn't it? Well, we used to do it at home. No, I'm sat now. You sure? Yeah, <laughs> don't want to move. You cut your finger too, girl. No, that's me eating. Can you chew on my fingers? No, I didn't cut my finger, just my leg. And a broken rib. Don't you feel guilty on Ray? I know, yeah. Try not oh, to feel guilty I'm like. I'm laying it on you much, really. We better get more likes on this than last time, then. Why? <laughs> the agony you went my misfortune. And your bloody, um, ah. leggings. I'm not wearing leggings again, that's it. I don't think that caused you to fall, to be fair. No. These are only good ones, too. I like these. It's because not... you're in the pub, you're all right, isn't it? No, yeah, that's the end of it. <laughs> because Carla fell, if you've watched the rest of the video, you'll know what happened. We had to come back today to finish off Bella Scalia, really. And I have to say, she was a hero. Basically, because I wouldn't let her go home. You made me carry on working then, yeah? I did, I did. I didn't realise it was as bad as it was till we got back home. So we had to actually stop the video and we come back today to finish it off. So Bella Scalia, for me, is the most impressive farm on this area by a long way. 205 acres, 100 football pitches. And the last quail of the farm in the 1930s had a sheep sale. And he sold 500 sheep off because of ill health. Imagine that up here on his own with ill health and 500 sheep. 
Mm. What was your sort of overall feelings about the place <laughs> besides pain? Um, I really liked it actually. I do like Balscala. Do you? I do actually. Yeah. The tree, the fallen down tree is my favourite. The ash tree. And the pega tree. And the pega tree, yes, of course, the pega tree. Uh, pega tree is a hawthorn tree, by the way. For those of you who <laughs> may not know, Carla has a habit of making words up with suit of suits. And um, <laughs> the hawthorn tree is where they put clothes on, as we've said. So Carla decided rather than the hawthorn tree, it's called the pega tree. And that, forget it. And that name's going to stick. I see pega trees all over the place now. You do? You do? Um, One thing I've learnt though is when you put your hand out for me to be helped, I have to take it. <laughs> mm, yeah. Or else. Um, it's funny we actually discussed going out together because we're safer to be on, not on your own or to go out with somebody else. And um, it was a, well, nothing, the stream was only a few little rocks, wasn't it? And um, mm. it just slipped and grabbed a little branch and then you crack a rib. Happened in a second. <laughs> so although we come up to these places for fun, I think you've really got to be um, careful mm. and not on your own. Because the road was, you could walk back, it could have been an ankle or something, couldn't it? Yeah, the massive disadvantage was the ripping of my pants. <laughs> yes, yes, you'll have seen in the video her um, amending off her, shall we say, her that outfit. That was a, a shock. <laughs> Oh, yes, dear. yes, I've um, seen things today I hadn't thought I was going to see. <laughs> oh, dear. But you are a sport girl. Yeah, I'm alright. You are. Mm. You are. Mm. So, where's next? So, the next video <laughs> we're going to do is a place called Balua. I've not been there, Carla's been there, and um, we've had a walk around, so it's going to be bloody good, I reckon, because there's a story to tell. And I think you folks will enjoy it. But it'll be a few weeks before away, because she's away next week. And um, it'll be the week after before we get stuck into that, but I'm sure it'll be worth watching. And I don't think there's any danger. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> we'll find it if it was there. Well. As long as you don't fall, mm. we are out, won't we? Just what's that style, girl? What's that style? Mm. So, bye, folks. Ciao. <laughs>